Have you ever noticed the massive role that microchips play in our digital society? These tiny silicon marvels are at the heart of every gadget we hold close, from smartphones to supercomputers. But there's one Achilles heel for these silicon superheroes, heat. It's why your smartphone feels like a mini oven after a marathon gaming session, and why data centers require massive cooling systems. From keeping light bulbs from burning out prematurely to preventing breakdowns in gas engines and nuclear reactors, heat has always posed a challenge. Microchip's performance is directly proportional to their temperature, with 221 degrees Fahrenheit acting as the upper for these silicon chips. The challenge then is to dissipate this heat as rapidly as possible. Consider this, today's high-performance microchips can consume up to 100 watts of power per square centimeter, similar to the power consumed by modern light bulbs. This is a significant amount of heat that needs to be dissipated quickly and efficiently. So the big question is, are there materials that can solve this problem? Diamonds, not just the most popular gemstone in the world, but potentially a microchip too. With power consumption reaching around 100 watts per square centimeter, microchips generate significant heat that must be efficiently removed. That's where diamonds come in. Diamond, the best conductor of heat known to us, has an exceptional thermal conductivity that makes it a promising solution to the heat problem. The process to leverage this precious gemstone's properties involves integrating it with microchips, but how do we do that? Well, it's through the use of diamond wafers. Imagine a thin slice of diamond attached to a microchip. By shaving off most of the inactive silicon, we allow the heat produced by the chip to be rapidly dissipated. This not only keeps the chip cooler, but also enables it to function at higher speeds without compromising reliability. Now, you might be thinking that this sounds like an expensive solution, but the good news is, we're not talking about naturally mined diamonds here. Synthetic diamonds are the game changers. Diamond Foundry, a pioneer in this field, claims to have produced the world's largest synthetic diamond wafer. Four inches across and less than three millimeters thick, these wafers, when mated with silicon microchips, enable enhanced heat dissipation. The falling cost of synthesizing diamonds is also making this solution increasingly viable. As the adage goes, necessity is the mother of invention. The escalating demands for computing power, particularly in data centers advancing artificial intelligence models, have made it necessary to explore such unconventional strategies. Companies like Coherent and Element 6 are also contributing to this diamond revolution. They offer polycrystalline diamonds or larger diamonds for application between chips and traditional heat sinks. So it seems that diamonds could be the answer to our heat problems. But hold on. The world of technology is never short of surprises. Diamonds aren't the only solution being explored. Imagine a microchip backed by glass. Sounds weird, doesn't it? Intel, a household name in the world of microprocessors, is pioneering this very concept. They are exploring the use of glass backings for microchips. This isn't just for aesthetics. Glass backings provide structural support for larger chips, enabling them to accommodate more sophisticated circuits. But that's not all. Glass also facilitates higher speed connections between the chips, allowing for faster data transfer and improved performance. However, the exploration doesn't stop at glass backings. We may be on the cusp of a revolution that takes us beyond silicon, the traditional backbone of microchips. One such material showing promise is boron arsenide. It's not just a great heat conductor, but also a semiconductor. This dual nature makes it an attractive candidate for future microchips. Boron arsenide could potentially lead to the creation of faster, more heat-efficient microchips with novel computational capabilities. Now let's take a moment to envision the future of microchips as seen by Andy Bechtolsheim, a luminary in the tech industry. He pictures a multi-layered chip design with each layer having a specific role. Picture this, a layer of glass for communication, a layer of silicon for processing, and a layer of diamond for heat dissipation. This trifecta of materials could offer a solution to the age-old problem of heat management in microchips, allowing them to operate at higher speeds without compromising reliability. As we continue to push the boundaries of computing, unconventional materials like diamonds, glass, and boron arsenide might just be the key to keeping our gadgets cool and performing at their peak. It's an exciting time in the world of technology, and we're all looking forward to what the future holds. So let's keep our eyes peeled for the next breakthrough in this thrilling journey of technological evolution. 
Let me know what you think in the comments and see you in the next video.